God! Hey guys, it's Kodiak here, and I got some news for you today. Today is a little bit differently, as you can see. I'm uh, not in the usual setup. That's mostly because I ran out of light. Today is... Actually, let's go. Let's have a look here. Let me show you. Today is actually not that great out today. It's uh, a little bit of overcast. Started raining. So, I'm going to be doing it a little differently today. Our first story is uh, new gameplay footage for Dragon's Dogma Online. The footage comes from a gameplay festival called the Degenki. I'm going to get in trouble for this one. Dengeki Bunko Spring Festival. The new gameplay footage features a bunch of features that I will actually list in the description below. And it looks pretty good. Supposedly the map is going to be three times the size of the original. The combat looks similar to the original. It looks good. It's going to be amazing. Looks like you can have up to three of your putties on a matchmaking system or pair with your friends. And slay dragons. The story is about a white dragon that's turning to stone and it's your mission to find out why. Uh, yes, I am walking around. My bad. Get a little sick. Sorry. Hopefully oh, that's not getting a bad angle of my nose. I wouldn't like that. No release date has been put on the Dragon's Dogma Online. But, however, it's looked like it's going to be releasing sometime this year in Japan. No news yet if it will be released in North America. So, best start uh, brushing up on the Japanese. Our next story, PlayStation Online is going to have another free weekend. Popular in Europe, last month, PlayStation said it wants to have another free weekend for the players. Coming up on this weekend, so Friday, March 20th to the 22nd of uh, March, you can expect to play online titles like Assassin's Creed Unity, Call of Duty, and the new upcoming Battlefield, or Battlefield 4 if that's your style. It's going to be free online features of PlayStation Plus. I don't know if the rest of the features, like the discounts or free games, are going to be available. But I think everybody should definitely take advantage of this if you don't, if you're not already a PlayStation Plus member. It's like I have a fascination with Ubisoft. I don't know why. It's just there. It, it seems to make all of my days every week. I mean, I was going to run the the new story that Grand Theft Auto is first in the UK sales beating Di uh, Dying Light, actually, for number one. From last week's number one, that is. But no, today I'm going to be doing an Ubisoft story again, because I can't help it. Today's story, or today's final story, is about a director named Yon Finis, a most notably known for his work on the game Valiant Hearts. He says he's leaving Ubisoft. He's tired of being called a uh, fake indie. Deciding to go full indie, because why not? Yon is looking forward to the future of his career with indie games. His first project was actually Beyond Good and Evil, which apparently was only a team of 30 plus. Uh, so he says anyway. And that was a good game. Apparently Bell and Hearts is a good game. Why not? Everything I talked about today is going to be in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe. And like the video for more like this. And uh, why don't you tell me, are you looking forward to Battlefield Hardline? Are you going to be getting it? Or are you going to be getting Final Fantasy Type O? I know I am. Want to see my Battlefield Let's Play? Go ahead and click my shotgun. Okay, so the Let's Play hasn't started yet, so there is no shotgun. But when there will be, there will be a shotgun. I swear. Until next time, I'm Kodiak. And I will see you later.